What up guys, welcome back to the second channel. I was going through Necro's shoot interview and I found him reacting to the Saw Deathmatch. He's being interviewed by Brett Lauderdale and they show the clips to him. I found Necro's take pretty interesting so I figured I'd show it to you guys. Enjoy. Yeah, there's, uh, there's fellows on your fucking TV uh, okay, let's, locked um, in the dance of death. A, um, this is like um, John Mi Gruden. Mystery Science Theater 3000 here? Kinda, or it's like <laughs> when John Gruden does the thing with the... Um, with the quarterbacks around draft season. He's got Terrell Pryor now, I guess. Yeah. So, on my screen, which Gary's lining up, is IWA Deep South Carnage Cup 2000. I turned that booking down. 11. I was. I, I told him no. Did I call you or did he? They want me to drive there. Okay, so... Like, uh, you know, you, you either, they call this a suit interview or whatever the fuck. You know, you want me to... Shoot on people, or well, I don't even know what the yeah, fuck that. Even, I don't even know what the fuck that even means. But if you want me to fucking bury somebody or make somebody sound bad, well, how bad is it if a f promoter calls you and wants you to drive like sixteen or seventeen fucking hours to a fucking show, man? What what the fuck's that all about? Um, we and drove. to do this goddamn shit. So, Dylan, you are now watching. The large man on the right is Spider Can, can you drive to Alabama for two hundred dollars? Well, three hundred dollars to wrestle three times. Not sixteen wrestle hours. Three hundred dollars. Not wrestle. sixteen hours. I did drive several hours, but not sixteen. And um, well, I, you're a, I'm you're, not a wrestler you're either. East Coast man. I'm like fucking seven hours to the fucking right. west of you. Right. Yeah, northwest. So you tack on another. I gotta come half meet a day. you somewhere. Right. Six fucking. Um, yeah. So three hundred goddamn have, dollars for me to come do this fucking shit. Well, especially this shit. So Spider Boudreaux's on the right. The guy in the stripes is me. The guy holding the. <laughs> first time that Dylan, the Necro Butcher. Is yeah, watching this. this is your first I, time. I don't watch this. wrestling, man. You've I, never heard of. The, no. you, you I know. I, I know the large guy. The small okay. guy, I don't know. He's John Rare, who claims to be who claims Thumbtack Jack is his mentor. That's a big fucking mistake. He's the one who wants to win the Ho tournament. Big uh, Thumbtack Jack, who cannot fucking properly hide a goddamn razor blade in his fucking wrist tape. But. Uh. Okay. All right, so we're watching. So, me, referee, can you hold this for me? Have you Get heard? Back to I need it. Have you heard of this incident? Stop fucking cutting yourself, kid. Huh? No. What? Okay. Here we go. You'll see John Rare in his left hand. He seems to have something in his the hand. Little, the little fellow's about to cut the big fella. Is that what's going on? Oh, and a stabbing. Wait, we're holy gonna get... crap! That's a lot of blood. That's a lot of blood. Whoa! What the fuck? Yes, he just stabbed him. Wait that's a minute. A Here's slow motion for you. That's a heck of a lot of. Oh Jesus, man! What? That's the... a knife. Um, That's a heck of a uh, what's lot of it called? Blood. Knife, a uh, exacto uh, knife, box cutter. Okay, this and otherwise outside of these two, an otherwise pretty good You're tournament. A nasty infection doing that stuff. Look at that. Now I as was the referee in this match. They never mentioned this spot to me. Not once. Well, that's cool though. Fuck you. You're a ref. I wouldn't right. tell you either. Right. You would never I, think to I, tell I the referee. I would take him to do a body slam. Right. Now, granted, that's not a goddamn body slam. It's that's not the a fuck, knife. Somebody it's not the fucking him. ref spot to know what the fuck's going on. Yeah, why would you tell the ref? Call the goddamn match. Call the goddamn Look at match. That. So, you see a giant hole right there. They're not done? Well, oh, no. This oh, no. wasn't the end of the match. There's more stuff. I'm yelling. I have the audio turned off, but I was telling him to go home right here. There's, he stabbed him, and it's not... This is, like the, this is like the beginning of the match. What? They ended up doing two spots in the ring with the razor boards... And then and they did fella, that afterwards, and they jumped off the vending machine. This poor fellow done been stabbed. Yeah, he and John Rare tried to tape him up. His See, opponent tried to tape him up. They had the tape in the ring. First, <sighs> first John Rare grabbed the tape and thought he was taping his own arm that wasn't really cut. <laughs> yeah, they were going, give him the tape. And he's like, well, okay, uh, tape you, you know what, though, man? Uh, these guys don't know any better. Who... The fuck is out there telling these guys what they should or shouldn't do? Nobody, you know. So unchecked. There you go. There's the yeah. final bump. There's there's unchecked opportunities. Look at that. His head bouncing off. Yeah. The, the well, you know what? And uh, and that's a shame. Well, you know, if someone's gonna and that gives wrestling a bad name. Oh. You know, if someone gets injured. You know. Well, there was legitimate. I'll pause it now, and we'll come back. There was legitimate people in this tournament, and this was not all really a bad. This was actually a pretty good tournament outside well, of that you know, match. Well, someone, I, 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 I think it's wrong that those fellas did. First of all, I hardly feel I'm qualified to tell someone what they should or shouldn't do in a fucking ring. But I mean, that's like attempted murder, right? You know, and I mean, and, and second of all. 
Like, should, shouldn't someone have told him? And if no one told him, like, it's kind of hard to... Well, listen, that's what I'm trying to tell you, is they never said to any of us, oh, we got this idea where we're going to stab I'm talking other. about you. I'm not just, you know, senior guys in the locker room. Like, no, they didn't tell anybody. Didn't tell anybody. It's not like it was like, oh, let's not tell the ref. They didn't tell anybody. Except presumably Kevin. That's definitely not, well. But I don't even I don't even want to speak for Kevin. I don't know that Kevin knows. I don't know. I mean, uh, the thing about wrestling, it's really hard if you're on the outside of that bubble. Like you'll do whatever it takes. You know, this 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 the larger fella that got stabbed. I mean, uh, I don't know his thought processes. Maybe he thought, well, hey, you know, this little fella is gonna stab me in the arm. And I'm going straight to fucking CZW. I'm going straight to JCW. I'm going straight to Japan. They see how hardcore I am getting stabbed. But that's just not the case. But, I mean, if you don't know, you don't know. I mean, you can't blame somebody for not knowing. I mean, uh, are, you, are you a dumbass? Yeah. But, I mean, uh, you, just, you can't. Uh, some, some, I don't know, man. The slippery slope. Mm hmm. Okay. Just wanted to get your thoughts on that. Um, I would never agree to stab no other fella in the arm. I wouldn't have done that. Right, I'll like punch you in the jaw. Right, but that's 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 sportsmanlike. Okay, you uh, know some of these matches, these fellows will forearm the fucking living goddamn piss out of each other over and over and over. So what's fucking difference between that and fucking yeah. punch, man? What's fucking difference? You know. Uh, that spot was so crazy, even Necro wouldn't do it. R.I.P. to the legend Spider Boudreaux who took that stabbing. We're gonna be seeing the last Saw Death match ever this year. In case you haven't seen, I did a three-part documentary on all the Saw Death matches. Link in the description. Guys, let me know what your opinion is on Necro's thoughts in the comments. You guys already know I love you so much, and I'll see you in the next video. Later.